May 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Acts chapter 26 of the New Testament. So Agrippa said to Paul, You have permission to speak for yourself. Then Paul held out his hand and began his defense. Regarding all the things I have been accused of by the Jews, King Agrippa, I consider myself fortunate that I am about to make my defense before you today, because you are especially familiar with all the customs and controversial issues of the Jews. Therefore, I ask you to listen to me patiently. Now all the Jews know the way I lived from my youth, spending my life from the beginning among my own people and in Jerusalem. They know because they have known me from time past if they are willing to testify that according to the strictest party of our religion, I lived as a Pharisee. And now I stand here on trial because of my hope in the promise made by God to our ancestors, a promise that our 12 tribes hope to attain as they earnestly serve God night and day. Concerning this hope, the Jews are accusing me, your majesty. Why do you people think it is unbelievable that God raises the dead? Of course, I myself was convinced that it was necessary to do many things hostile to the name of Jesus, the Nazarene. And that is what I did in Jerusalem. Not only did I lock up many of the saints in prisons by the authority I received from the chief priest, but I also cast my vote against them when they were sentenced to death. I punished them often in all the synagogues and tried to force them to blaspheme because I was so furiously enraged at them. I went to persecute them even in foreign cities. While doing this very thing, as I was going to Damascus with authority and complete power from the chief priest, about noon along the road, your majesty, I saw a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shining everywhere around me and those traveling with me. When we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? You are hurting yourself by kicking against the goads. So I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord replied, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this reason, to designate you in advance as a servant and witness to the things you have seen and to the things in which I will appear to you. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles to whom I am sending you, to open their eyes so that they turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a share among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Therefore, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but I declared to those in Damascus first and then to those in Jerusalem and in all Judea and to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God performing deeds consistent with repentance. For this reason, the Jews seized me in the temple courts and were trying to kill me. I have experienced help from God to this day, and so I stand, testifying to both small and great, saying nothing except what the prophets and Moses said was going to happen, that the Christ was to suffer and be the first to rise from the dead, to proclaim light both to our people and to the Gentiles. As Paul was saying these things in his defense, Festus exclaimed loudly, You have lost your mind, Paul. Your great learning is driving you insane. But Paul replied, I have not lost my mind, most excellent Festus, but am speaking true and rational words. For the king knows about these things, and I am speaking freely to him, because I cannot believe that any of these things has escaped his notice, for this was not done in a corner. Do you believe the prophets, King Agrippa? I know that you believe. Agrippa said to Paul, In such a short time are you persuading me to become a Christian? Paul replied, I pray to God that whether in a short or a long time, not only you but also all those who are listening to me today could become such as I am, except for these chains. So the king got up, and with him the governor and Bernice and those sitting with them, and as they were leaving, they said to one another, This man is not doing anything deserving death or imprisonment. Agrippa said to Festus, This man could have been released if he had not appealed to Caesar. God, tonight I pray for people as Paul did. 
that it doesn't matter if it's been a short time that they first heard about you or a long time that anyone who knows your glory who knows your love who knows your peace who knows and has received your forgiveness how could we not want that for other people how could we not with the love of Jesus Christ living in our heart not want that for others I pray that everyone who is listening to me today as Paul said that they become such as I am except for these chains God you recently put somebody just amazing in my life and I thank you I thank you so much for entrusting me to say all the right words this person knows your word inside and out this person has watched people in their family and the powerful faith that, that their family members have. They believe in you. But that relationship part, that passion for you, that love is missing. And it's just the story of how you ended up putting the two of us together is just kind of crazy awesome unto itself. <sighs> but I just, I just love so, how so effortlessly you put all of the right words in my mouth to say to them that they need to hear. They're struggling, they're confused, they're questioning. And it's all okay. Because I know where they're at is also okay with you in the sense that your timing will be perfect. When the scales are ready to fall off their eyes, when, when their heart is ready to open, when you are ready to make all that happen, I know it will. In the meantime, God, allow me to continue to be obedient in whatever needs to happen in this relationship. Whatever I need to teach, whatever I need to show, whatever I need to pray for. Just allow me to clearly see all of the right choices that are unfolding. My heart is just leaping and bounding today watching someone ask all the right questions about you, God. When people ask questions about you, I know we're headed down the right path. It's when they don't ask anything that that I get very nervous but with you I have nothing to be concerned about because you're in charge of everything that happens in this world including this young man's heart and where he's going I suspect you have some powerful paths for him to follow as his knowledge of you and his knowledge of your word is immense I can't imagine what will happen when you combine that with a heart that loves you. Huh. It'll be amazing. God, I do pray for everyone today. I pray that whether it's been a short time that they've known you or a long time, whatever it is that they will seek out, whatever it is that they need to hold out their hand to you and accept this incredible gift that you've offered to so many. God, I just love you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>